This cholesterol medication can slash your LDL by 60%. But at what cost? Today, we're analyzing FDA reports and patient experiences to reveal. KeyCap won the most common Repitha side effects. Up to 50% of users get number 3. KeyCap 2 The rare but dangerous reactions that aren't in the leaflet. KeyCap 3 Pro Tips to Make Injections Easier This isn't scaremongering, it's empowering patients. Understanding Repitha, Evolocumab The Cholesterol Bouncer Think of cholesterol like guests at a party. Some guests, like HDL, the good cholesterol, are friendly and helpful. But others, like LDL, the bad cholesterol, can get out of hand and cause trouble, clogging your arteries and raising your risk for heart attacks and strokes. Repitha Evolocumab steps in like a strict bouncer at this party, helps keep those bad guests under control. Repitha belongs to a newer class of medicine called PCSK9 inhibitors. It's mainly used for adults and some kids who have high cholesterol that isn't improving with diet and other meds like statins. It's also helpful for people who already have heart disease and want to lower their risk of having a heart attack or stroke. How do you take it? Repitha isn't a pill. It's a shot you give yourself under the skin, kind of like how people with diabetes use insulin. You can take it either once every two weeks or once a month, depending on your doctor's plan for you. Are there any side effects? Most people do just fine but some might notice. Redness or soreness where the shot was given. Cold or flu-like symptoms, such as fatigue or a runny nose. How Repitha works. Like taking the brakes off your body's cholesterol cleanup crew. Your body has a natural system for cleaning up extra cholesterol. And your liver plays a big role in that process, kind of like a recycling center for cholesterol in your blood. But there's a protein called PCSK9 that acts like a troublemaker. It slows down the liver's ability to get rid of bad cholesterol, LDL. You can think of PCSK9 as someone putting the brakes on your liver's cleanup crew. Repitha Evolocumab comes in like a peacekeeper. It's a monoclonal antibody, which means it's specially designed to find and block PCSK9. When PCSK9 is blocked, the brakes come off, and your liver can pull more of that bad cholesterol out of your blood. The result? Lower levels of LDL, bad cholesterol, which can help protect your heart and blood vessels over time. Repitha side effects. What to watch for? Like any medicine, Repitha, Evolocumab, can come with side effects, but most people don't have serious problems. Here's what you might expect starting with the more common stuff. Common side effects. These happened in at least 3 out of every 100 people during clinical trials. Cold or flu-like symptoms, like a runny nose, sore throat, or feeling tired. Back pain, a dull ache or stiffness. Redness or pain where you gave the injection. Urinary tract infections, UTIs. More common in women. You might feel burning when peeing. Muscle aches. Similar to what you might feel after a workout. Diarrhea. An upset stomach or loose stools. High blood pressure. Your doctor will usually monitor this. Dizziness or headaches. Mild and often go away with time. Less common but serious side effects. Allergic reactions. These can be serious and include things like angioedema, swelling under the skin, especially around the eyes or lips, or even anaphylaxis, a rare but dangerous full-body allergic reaction. Higher blood sugar levels. If you have diabetes or prediabetes, your doctor might keep an extra eye on this. Notable side effects of Repitha, Evolocumab, and how to handle them. While most people do fine on Repitha, some may experience side effects. Let's break down a couple of the more noticeable ones and what you can do if they pop up. Fatigue, feeling extra tired, feeling more tired than usual. Fatigue was reported by some people taking Repitha, though it's not one of the most common side effects. 
For many, it's mild and goes away on its own. But here's something important. Fatigue can sometimes be a clue that something else is going on, like high blood sugar or even early signs of diabetes, which are rare but possible side effects of repetha. What you can do, if your fatigue sticks around, or if you also feel extra thirsty or need to pee more often than usual, let your doctor know. They may want to check your blood sugar to make sure everything's okay. Don't ignore ongoing tiredness. It's your body's way of waving a little red flag. Joint and back pain. This one's a bit more common. Some people notice aches in their joints or back during treatment with repetha. It could be directly from the medication, or it might be linked to flu-like symptoms, which repetha can also cause. What you can do. Try resting, using a warm or cold compress, or taking an over-the-counter pain reliever like ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, acetaminophen, Tylenol. Before you grab any medicine from your cabinet, check with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you're on other meds or have health conditions. And if the pain doesn't let up, don't tough it out. Your doctor can help find a better solution or make adjustments to your treatment. Repetha and less common but important side effects. Most people use repetha without serious problems, but it's good to know about some less common but important side effects, just in case. Being informed helps you catch issues early and stay on top of your health. Increased blood sugar or diabetes. For some people, especially those taking repetha to prevent heart problems like strokes or heart attacks, there's a chance it can raise blood sugar levels or even lead to type 2 diabetes. Interestingly, this side effect hasn't been reported as often by people using repetha just to lower cholesterol. What to look out for? You might not feel high blood sugar at first, but some signs include feeling very tired, being unusually thirsty, dry mouth, going to the bathroom more often, peeing a lot, blurry vision, what you can do. If you notice any of these signs, call your doctor right away. High blood sugar can cause long-term issues like kidney disease, nerve damage, or vision problems if left untreated. If your blood sugar is high, your doctor may suggest lifestyle changes, diet exercise, or possibly medication to help manage it. Allergic reactions. Like many medications, repetha can cause allergic reactions in some people. These reactions can be mild or serious, so it's important to know the signs. Mild allergic symptoms may include rash or itchiness, flushing, a warm red feeling in your face or body, mild swelling, especially around the eyes, lips, hands, or feet. What might help? If the symptoms are mild, call your doctor. They might recommend an antihistamine like Benadryl. A soothing skin cream, such as hydrocortisone. If your doctor confirms it was a mild reaction, they'll help decide whether it's safe for you to keep using repetha. Serious allergic reactions may include swelling in the mouth, tongue, or throat, trouble breathing. If this happens, it's an emergency. Call 911 or get medical help right away. This type of reaction could be life threatening. If you've had a serious reaction, your doctor will likely recommend stopping repetha and switching to a different treatment. If you're watching this, you're already taking charge of your health. And that's brave. Join our health community. Keycap 1 like if you learn something new. Keycap 2 subscribe for more medication truth videos. Keycap 3 comment your repetha experience. At HeInfo, we believe informed patients make the best decisions. You've got this.